Can you come in here? So this is one of our interview rooms here. If you have a seat right here in this chair. I shut the door here for privacy, so it's, all, you know, it's unlocked, you can go out. Yeah. I'm kind of just conditioned to say that because one of the things is that people, if this was a criminal investigation, you know, you want to make sure, if I if, if I thought it was like, there's just no laws I have to follow. Too, yes, right? And then you've probably seen like cop shows, whatever, Miranda warnings. Mm -hmm. I would read this to you. If that's something I thought it was criminal investigation, I thought you were going to jail or something like that. But it's not like that. Yes, this right. is just talking. And your name came up when we... Um, trespassed to that individual. Yes, he mentioned you and Mr. Ankrum. Yes, sir. Um, so our goal, and then also Ms. Cleveland's name was mentioned a few times. So we just want to figure out, our job is to keep you guys safe, the other students, faculties, everybody safe on campus. Yes, sir. If we're having an incident like this, it could have escalated. It's a little scary, right? Yes. And we just don't want anything like that to happen. Yes, sir. So um, before I get started, um, it's Lewis, right? The last name? Yes, sir. And what's your UFID? Is they digit number? Sure, uh, Again, I just have the document that we yes, spoke. Yes, so this was Memorial Day night that happened here on the Keys. It was Monday night. There was a playoff game. Yes, sir. What do you know about this, or why did he mention your name when we spoke to him? Oh, um, I would, I would die, uh that night because we like we all were going to watch the game. Mm -hmm. Like where we, that's what we were doing over there watching the game. Mm -hmm. But um, like. The reason that like everything really started with them is because like they say they'd be like okay so like when, during the season like they said they were betting on us you know we did uh, bad last year oh, yeah, so okay. every like every weekend like you know we started out doing good so everything was good like we always see them like even like sometimes we'll be ha hanging with each other you know like, oh interesting I'm gonna take some notes while you're talking yeah. so so when um so when things were going well you guys are all hanging yeah, out we were just chilling you know Eric, Cause we been new with them, you know. Like we, like say we see each other, like they see me with some early shoes on, they'll be like, "Ain't no shoes earlier, man." You know, that's how we used to be. So, uh, okay. So one night like, we lost, and, and we saw each other. You know, we already so we, we just, you know, what I'm saying we just cracking jokes on each other. And then that would, that would take my man just took his, like that the first night he ever just took it like like made it like a big deal. You feel like oh. got mad and all that. So. Like ever since then, that's when it, like that's where it started from. Like or just playing like that, and like he was like, I don't fuck, I ain't, I ain't fuck with y'all no more, y'all gone. Like he was just saying all crazy stuff he ain't never said. So then we like, right, you know, again we ain't cool no more. So ever since then, like if he see us or something, like he like he say something, like you know, that's like. Wow, interesting. Yeah, I mean, he took it really personally that mm -hmm. you guys lose that. It was hard enough for you, I'm sure. Yeah, so that's that's like that was so it's been escalating for a while. Mm -hmm. What made you guys hang out? It was just your guys' age. I mean, uh, he was at all the, the clubs. Well, they used to always like come to like the spring. Well, they came to the spring and like I'd have been, been there like four, years, five years now. So like you know, you would see them around mm -hmm. at the club and like we'd just be speaking. You know, like regular people just oh, okay. speaking yeah, to you. Yeah, recognize so. them for the last few. Yeah. Okay, but you know, like. You know, as you see somebody a couple of times, you feel like you could just, yeah. like, we were just chopping it up every now and then, you know. You know how people just come up sure. to us. You know? Yeah, and plus you recognize the same guy, you see him downtown. Yeah, right. So that's interesting. This is the first I've heard of this, so thank you. So the fall happened, so then what do you think escalated at this time? Well, they just already, they just be peeking, really. Like, why would they come? Have they come to campus before? No, nah, like, that, that would surprise me, like, like they just said they were like they were sitting outside the dorm or something. Yeah. Like they were just sitting out there. They had a, like the, I don't live on campus. Like I had just had came like for the game like by six thirty, by six thirty or something for the game. But they said the ball was sitting out there all day. Yeah. But I ain't know like I ain't know about this um about they were sitting out there until like later until they like they start getting out and stuff like that. But they um like. They said it was sitting out there from like two o'clock and like all day. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I heard too, but then I talked with the freshman David Lee, Reese. He mentioned like almost five. And I forgot to ask Tyree when you were watching the game in the Emory's in Trey Dean's dorm room. Mm -hmm. Did you were you there when you had to exit out a window or things like that? Did you ever have to exit a window? 
I just, I just went out. Um, okay, because other groups were like, "What?" They just went out the door yeah, before. But, uh, the you remember, see how some guys had to crawl out the window. They said, "No." <laughs> Campbell, Trey Dean, all these guys crawled out the window in the first <laughs> war. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you see Teddy bang himself here that night? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see anybody with a gun? Nah, no, sir. Did you see uh, a laser being pointed at anybody and made people think like they were being like a laser, like a dot? No. No, no, sir. I had a claim of that actually to uh, gamble. No, no, sir. So he had a laser. Now, I haven't spoken to him from others, just so me. I don't even speak to him. Because um, the scary thing of anything, especially. Uh, Mr. Tony and Campbell's those airsoft guns. Mm -hmm. I mean, those things look real as can be. Yeah, they're running around like they're pulling up and lowering. I mean, luckily for them, those guys didn't have a real gun, right? Yes, sir. And then also, if law enforcement was responded and saw, they could have easily oh, been shot. shot. Yeah. And I was telling everybody, and I, I usually say at the beginning is. You so said KT, I'm on KT, right? Yeah. He's like, oh yeah. Did I not say yeah. Mr. Tony? Yeah, Kadir. Oh yeah, Tony. my bad. Yeah, yeah. he had this, yeah. the AR looking. I see. And yeah. then uh, uh, Kyrie Campbell. They been had, had they them. they always like they like yeah. they always had them though like the little yeah the airsoft. But yeah, he just the little plastic. Yeah, stuff. the little things. But they don't the real. Right. Yeah. Well, the crazy thing I saw him is what it could have been. Well, well, to the people watching from the dorm, they yeah. thought it was real. Yes, sir. To a responding police officer could have thought it real. And here's the thing. So, you know, Building 6, I don't know if you ever lived there. Not Building 6. Keys. Yes, sir. And there's the field. Yes, sir. Right down here on the other side of the field, there's like tennis courts. Yes, sir. One of our police officers, he's a sergeant here. He's our sniper for our critical incident response team. Yes, sir. Like he's a guy who drive that armored vehicle, you know, our rifle. If he would have just walked over that hill, he would have thought it was real. And probably, you know what I'm saying? Could have. My yeah, whole point is, this could have been a tragic, tragic, uh, horrible experience. Yes, sir. So it's just one of those things. I'm sure uh, Vernell's telling you guys and coaches, please don't be afraid to call law enforcement and let us nip it in the bud yes, and stop it before coming out and doing things, especially with airsoft. And I spoke with uh, Canarius and or KT and uh, Mr. Campbell quite a bit. Just yes, sir. We want everybody to be safe. Yes, sir. You, the guys scared, guys and girls scared in the dorm. To yes, sir. Everybody there. So don't be afraid to call us. Yes, sir. Um, after the incident, did you go out in the field? Were you one of the guys arguing with anybody? No. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Um, but you didn't see anything? You didn't hear anything? No, I, no, no, I didn't see no... I just know KT Bill had the, um, the yeah. gun, but I didn't see them with... They said they had some, but I didn't see no one. No. Do you know who said that? Or did you just hear other no, players saying that? Or did you hear somebody say that? Yeah, I just like, heard it. Like, didn't somebody say, don't come close or something? Yeah. What did you hear? So I can just write it. <laughs> just so <laughs> much going on. Yeah, there's just so much going on. Just, Lots of yelling? Yeah. But you think you heard something about they have guns or mm -hmm. something? I don't know how, you know, you can't. I'll just put it in there, okay. So, excuse me. So that really explains that. So here's the thing. Got to be real careful, I'm sure, about downtown or <laughs> doing whatever. You don't want, now yeah, that you think those guys right. maybe bought a real gun, and now they escalate it, right? Yes, yeah, sir. So you got to be careful. Um, and if Tay Bang or any of those guys would have come back to us and said that they thought there was a real gun, I mean, those guys could be in trouble, mm -hmm. you know, because you can't point guns at anybody, yeah, either yeah. fake or not, especially in my mind, I think it's real. Yeah, yeah. So as of right now, it's not a criminal investigation. What we're doing a lot, and this doesn't include you, but it could affect Mr. Cleveland because he, you didn't get spoken to by police officers that night, right? Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, so what we do is student conduct conflict resolution. It's called mm -hmm. SCCR. It's with the dean of students' office, and there they go and talk and work it out. Because technically, even by our bylaws type thing or close student conduct. You like cooperating with police is what you, you're supposed to do. Like that night when Emery, uh, Rick Wells, yeah, and I'll, some I'll others said, saying, "Oh no, did nothing happen. We didn't see anything." Uh, you know, if they could have just said, "Hey," you know, type, it would have helped us. Yes, sir. Yeah, because it would have been scary. Because some guys said they might have been followed or yes, crazy. It's just yeah. a scary night. So, yeah. have you guys had any problems since then? No, sir. Like, okay. It really just be like when we grow up. Really, 
But we don't, like, we haven't went out of town. Yeah. Like, we've been going to Midtown, like, the, uh, yeah. for a long time. Like, for, like, the last two months now. Like, we went, like, ever since that happened then. Mm. Like, we went, yeah. well, we went to one room before then, but, yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, well, you gotta be careful. I mean, yes, people are jealous of athletes to even people attending UF, you know. Yes, sir. And it's, uh... Yeah, it is interesting. I'm glad you explained it. I was, we were trying to, that was a key. Why is this guy so mad? Yeah, so hanging yeah. out for New Year's and then all of a sudden start losing. They don't want to, they start being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last right. thing we lost. We were losing. And they said, it be, like every weekend, they, they said they bet on us and we lose. So, oh, you bad. know. Oh, yeah, yeah. So even if it's not true, they're really, we're at least saying that. Yeah, yes, sir. So yeah, like, hey, we lost thing. money, you guys are yeah. you know, sorry or whatever type thing. I'm yeah, sure they yeah. use a lot more different words than me. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, well, awesome. Do you have any questions for me? No, sir. Okay, great. Thank you. Let's grab the door there. All right.